Hello everyone. Let's today solve a new lead code problem. The lead code problem three, which is finding the longest substring without repeating characters. We are given a string like this one, and we need to find the longest continuous substring that don't have duplicate characters. For example, here we have A, B, C, A, B, C, and B, B. We can, from looking at it, we can quickly say this is longest. This is continuous uh, substring without repeating character. Also this one, also this one, and also this one. And we can say this two, these two, and only this one. So from looking at it, we can say it's uh, the length, the longest substring is a three. But how we can code it, how we can do it? We can think of easy solution, uh, a brute force solution, and we take the first character and keep scanning, keep scanning till we hit a duplicate, and then we say it's three. And we also can keep scanning and we find the longest substring, which is here, when it hit this point, it's three. And then we start from B and we keep scanning also till this point it's three. But if you continue, we will have a duplicate. So it's not more than three. And then we start with C and we start with A and we start with another B and so on. But this approach, the brute force approach, it is uh, time complexity is O of N squared. But can we do better? Of course we can do better. When we scan like this and we hit another A, do we need to continue scanning this? Basically, we don't need, but we also we might need, but it's better if we use a sliding window. How we do that? So this is our window start from here and it grow up till this point is two uh, characters. Here is three characters. And here when it try to become four, we have a duplicate, so what we do, we remove this one from our window and back to our window is a three again and we add a next character which is also a duplicate and we remove this one and then continue, our window will be again three and we add another character which is a duplicate and we remove this one from our window and we continue from A and we see here another duplicate but here if you see we are not removing the first element from our window we need to remove the second element but it should be continuous it's not just a unique it should be continuous also so we cannot just remove b we have to remove a then we remove b then our window will become of size 2 and we scan to the last element which is also duplicate and we remove this one and this one and here is size of one okay this approach is time complexity of o of n it's linear we scan through all elements once uh, and we also have because at the end you see the window of length one so we need to store the biggest length in another variable and we compare between each window size and the biggest length in the history and see which one is biggest. So which one is the biggest is the answer to our question. So what we need first, we need another variable called length or whatever you want to call it, I will call it length to store the largest length we have visited. Also, we need a window, but a window here to be able to remove from window and add to a window with time complexity with time complexity of O of 1, we need to use a set. A set is good, but okay, if we use a set, let's take this example here, A, B, F, C, no problem. Then F, F, we need to remove this one and this one and this one okay set is not order so we cannot say remove the first three element from the set when we scan we add all this element to a set 
but when we remove from set we cannot remove by order because set is not ordered so how we can do that we need another variable let's call it left index okay so it will start from zero it will be zero and when we hit duplicate like this one like this duplicate what we will do we will read the element in the index zero so the s of zero or of l now l is zero and then remove this element from the set because in a set we can remove an element by its value and its operation of o of one then we increase l by one and then again we check is this f still exists in set or not it will say yes yeah, still exists because we have these four element so what we will do we increase l by one and we remove the other element and is f still exists in the set yes it still exists so increase l by one i remove this f from a set then this f no longer exists in the set and we can continue scanning the rest of our characters so this is uh, the idea the algorithm how we can do it also we have here another example i mentioned this example because the length it will start from here one two three four five and then we have another character here e repeated as you see it's kind of complex uh, operation here because also we need to remove two when we read this but here the length is five at start then here it will become from here to here and to here to here it will become three then from here to here it will become from here to here it will become two our window and then from here to here it will become four so the importance of link as a history where what is the biggest link we have visited it's also important because first uh, the longest subset link is five so we need to store five in this variable <clears throat> so later on, later on when we have new window which is smaller than the history still this is a subset ring of unique element but this is of size four while here we have of size five so this one will be our answer i hope this is clear let's go now and code our uh, algorithm so as i mentioned we need a window which is uh, a set so i will create a character set <coughs> and i will say it's set initialize it and then the left index i will call it l and start is zero and the length that we will have as a history and for the also not just for history for checking every time to see uh, is the history length is bigger or the new length is bigger so i will call it length and set it to zero because still we didn't read any character now we do a loop and we loop through every character in our subset ring so while this new character is exist in character set in our set if it exists we need to remove it how to remove it we cannot remove it without removing its previous character like here so when we try to remove this f we have to remove a and b first so what we will do <clears throat> so we will say character set dot remove we will remove first the character starting from the index l and on so while the character still exists in our set we will read the character at index zero and remove it but maybe this character <coughs> exists in index one so what we will do we will increase our index by one and again while this character still exists in the set we will remove it from the set and we keep doing this till we remove the character from the set 
and the remaining set is our new window so here we need to also add the character to the new to the set and then we compute the length which is the max of length like our history length or the length of our character set which one is higher it will be our new length and basically what we do we just return the length so first i like to write our code in the jupyter lab and test it there to see if there's any error so i create because this function is inside class so i create uh, an instance of the class and let's test it there's error here i make a spelling error where is it character set character set character set somewhere are uh, here here i wrote something wrong this is why i start with jupiter and here it's true the language is three here should be one and it's one here i think it should be three and it's three and here abc is three and bcad i think this should be five maybe yeah five this also should be six a b f c this is four so it will repeat it from here c f d e a t which is six so let's take our code and try to implement it in the lead code so let's test our code in the lead code let's submit and yeah great results the answer is correct and all the test cases has been passed uh, so everything is good thank you very much for watching please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe